Theresa May pulled the vote on her uh, withdrawal agreement package that she was going to propose to the House of Commons, knowing that she was going to be defeated by over 100 votes. That would have been a historic defeat. So she's gone to Brussels now to try and renegotiate the deal. I don't think she's going to get much of a change. The EU has said they're not going to negotiate the withdrawal agreement. So that's the, the, the text for the terms that Britain leaves the EU. They might tinker a little bit with the political declaration. That's the statement that says where they think the future relationship between the UK and the EU is heading. So they may add some words to that or add an annex or change that slightly. So the big question that still is on the table is that going to be enough to get that through the House of Commons? And I think Looking at it right now, I would guess that's not going to be enough. And then the debate is going to be what happens after that. So I would imagine that she would probably have to step down. There would be a new conservative leader. Uh, maybe he or she can get a, another slight fudging. And perhaps they can bring that back and, and, and claim the great victory or great compromise. At the end of the day, at some point between now and the end of March, the House of Commons is going to be faced with some difficult choices. Accepting a deal that's not acceptable to a large majority of the Conservative Leave bloc in the House of Commons, and that's not acceptable to Labour. And the problem is that you now have three groups in the House of Commons. One group that is willing to accept a compromise package, a moderate way through that's a bit similar to May's deal. One group that wants a no-deal Brexit and is willing to take the costs and suffer the potential short-term consequences of that to get more sovereignty in the long run. And one group that just wants to remain in the EU and are willing to do anything to try and bring down the government and facilitate a people's vote or a second referendum. And so the worry, of course, is you could have majorities for each of the pairwise comparisons and you get a sort of uh, rock, paper, scissors outcome. You get a, a majority that prefers a no deal to May's deal, a majority that prefers remain to no deal, and a majority that prefers May's deal to remain. And so it, it's very uncertain. There's no stable equilibrium, we say in political science, for there for a clear majority. And so when there's no stable equilibrium, any kind of outcome is potentially possible ahead of the 28th of March.